Hey guys, I'm back. Here's part two of the Duke prop install uh, trial. I've got it laid out here. You can see it props off the plane. Uh, things are going good so far. I've tested the whirlwind with the thrust pull. Got some numbers and checked it both ways with my, my cruise setting and in my really strong stole setting. Pinching this to do the exact same thing with this. I'm gonna try to get it with both settings and do a full test. Uh, essentially the scale on both just to see what it's actually pulling on the ground static. And then I'm gonna fly, fly with it some and see how it behaves compared to the whirlwind. I have to say, I'm, so far I am really impressed with the Duke. It's, it's come packaged really well. Everything looks nice, tidy. Looks like a really well-built prop. So I'm enthusiastic. I think it's gonna work well. But anyway, let's get it together. Installations. Really simple on this thing. Put the spacer in the middle of the hub. I'm gonna cheat here just a little bit. I'm gonna put the blades in the top portion of the hub. Two of them, the third one's in the bottom, but anyway, just to make it simple. I've got two in the center and one in the bottom part. And it just slides together like that. You have a, a hub that's almost ready right there. Um, it'll actually, it fits together well, it'll stay together right there. Anyway, I've got the bolts and stuff laid out here, so I'll just put the bolts on it enough to hold it real quick. All right, and there you have it. There's the main part. I do already have the back plate for the spinner on there and the uh, bushings that go through the prop flange. So we're really just ready to put it on. All right, I pulled my table back a little bit. We've got the hub assembled. It's just a matter of sticking it on there now. And a little trick here, make sure it's indexed with the uh, spinner has an index hole, an indicator. So make sure you have the blades indexed with the proper way with the spinner. So once you get it on here, on the, the uh, bushings and stuff through the top flange, the Duke has a really nice little face plate that goes on. Uh, you can get one bolt started through there and through the bushing. I like to go ahead and start too, that way it holds the, the plate on there while you're getting the nut on. Pretty simple, it's actually really, really simple. It, just, it goes together easily. through there you know you've got it everything's even more simple uh, it's just a matter of getting all six bolts through that's one thing i like about the duke is it has six bolts that go all the way through the hub that's a little different than the whirlwind the whirlwind uses three that go through half of the, the back half of the hub and three more that go all the way through it's a little different setup they both work well for you know depending on what you're trying to do uh, the advantage the Duke has with this is you can take the entire prop off without having to reset the pitch angle, of the, oh, the pitch angle on the blades. You know, if you had a competition prop or something like that, it'd make it easy to just completely set this one off and put another one on. Or if you had a bearing maintenance or needed to change an oil seal or whatever it might be with the crankshaft or you know something on the front of the engine it should be easier to get this off it's just a matter of taking six bolts off and setting the entire prop off without doing anything to the pitch really simple process all right so now that i've got that mounted i'm going to tighten the three bolts just enough to make sure it'll stay on the hub good so i can change the adjust the pitch So what I'm trying to do here is tighten it down just enough so that the hub is seated well enough so it doesn't mess up my pitch. 
But still, loose enough I can easily change the pitch. Easily enough I can, so I can still be able to rotate inside the hub there. Like that, you saw it, uh, But I think I'm getting pretty close. I think the hub's pretty well there. Once I get that done, I'm going to level the blade. You have to do each one individual, so I'm going to level one up here. And then using their tool, this tool comes with the Duke. It's a really, really nice tool. And I cut off a, a piece that's the right length from the end of the prop. So it's just a matter of, do you see what I'm doing here? It's, I've got this cut to where it's the right distance from the end of the, the blade. That's how I set my indicator. So it's set up on the back side. I'm gonna give this a go at about 18 degrees on this first run, see what happens here. That was just a little bit too much, so I'm gonna to try to rotate it just a little bit in the hub. Once that's done, I'll snug these up just a little bit here. To, and not much at all. I'm just going to snug them up enough to, to hold this blade from changing the pitch while I'm rotating to the next blade. Uh, I'll, I'll do the final cotton on all of them at the same time in a little bit of a sequence. I've got the first one there. Uh, looks like it's Pretty well set to 18 degrees is where I'm going to try. So I'm going to take my take my gauge off of that one. I'm going to rotate it around to the next one. Using my little level one good on the bolts and level up the blades so I can make sure those are the same on all three. back on here and get my pitch gauge line back up. Alright, it needs to be turned some more. Fair it down actually, so I'm going to turn it some. So that's all yet. Now it's a little bit too far. Once you get close, it's just a matter of tweaking it. Sometimes you can Move the blade just a little bit in and just give it a little bit of pressure. It doesn't take much. Uh, trying to get it just right can be can be a bear sometimes, but you know, once you get close, it's really not too bad. So same thing, we want to tighten these up, snug them up just a little. Make sure that one stays just pretty well dead on it. So I'm going to take this back off. Third and last blade up here. All right, I'll get it leveled up. I'm going to measure and pull on here again and make sure they're all the same distance. And then we'll set this one in. It needs a little more pitch. much. That's getting close. So when I get close, I'll go in here and wiggle it just a little bit. And there we go. So same thing with this one. I'll snug it up just with a hair. All right, now that I've got it on there and got the pitch set right, I've got a couple of torque wrenches. I'm going to torque it. Uh, again, I'm going to do this progressively, so I'm going to torque not hardly up to 
the actual torque. Set. But I'm gonna snug it up a little bit as you know around as I go. I'm starting with the two halves. Alright, so I'll get my other torque wrench. I'm gonna tighten the through bolts some this time. Or snug them some more. And again, I'm not really rolling the full tension yet. I just want to get them snugged up a little so I can do them in some kind of a sequence. There you have it. Uh, the only other thing left is the spinner, and since I'm doing some testing, I probably won't actually install it yet, but I'll put it on here real quick so you can see. Um, there is a small hole there to line it up. It, it fits really well. It kind of almost snaps on there. Uh, you don't have to worry so much about it falling because it does. It, it just that's a really really nice spinner. It fits fits very well. Um, but like I said, there you have it. There is the Duke prop. Um, thoroughly impressed so far. I hope to get some some time on it. Going to do a full test here hopefully tomorrow and then get some full time with it. Seeing well some flying time with it and see how it does in the air. Like I said. Really am impressed so far and looking forward to giving this thing a go. John Humbert up next. That's the red and black Zenith 701. UL Powered. And John Humbert, a bit of a showman, you may notice. UL Power has had a booth number five here at Paradise City. Oh, that was Whoa. good. Whoa! That's something else, isn't it? Those the, slats on those Zeniths, they really work. For those that haven't seen this type of demonstration of aerobatics if you can take off like that in a mere 30 or 40 feet that is something to see